All right, what's up guys? My name is Dylan. I go by Dilby in the competitive community and I've been competing in fighting games for about the last four years. Uh, I play for St. Ambrose University. I'm the captain of the fighting games team on, uh, for the St. Ambrose esports team. So now that you know a little bit about me, what I wanted to cover today was 1v1 tactics in this game. Um, I'm not a sponsored uh, Battle Royale player, I'm a sponsored fighting game player, so I wanted to cover what I know best first. Okay, so essentially the first thing that I wanted to cover in this game, since there's a lot of misinformation right now, there's a lot of guides where people, to put it nicely, they just don't know what they're talking about, um, and that's fine, it's a new game, and people want to help and like make guides and stuff, so it's totally understandable. But I want to clear the air a little bit and settle some misunderstandings. So first off, people, you guys need to be blocking. I know a lot of people have said that blocking is strong, and it really is. You need to block. If you don't block, nothing matters as far as strategy goes. You're just going to get opened up by auto attacks, by launchers, by whatever they want. You need to block. Once you start blocking, that's when the mind games start in this game, okay? So when somebody comes in on you with auto attacks, the the mix-up begins essentially. Now you can dodge out, and that'll work for a little bit, but it's in pretty taxing on your stamina, and you're gonna want stamina to block. I'm not saying don't dodge. You definitely want to dodge. But it's not always the answer. Sometimes the answer is to block. Often the answer is to block. So one of the things about blocking here, I have a little cliff notes thing that I wanted to discuss. Okay, one of the mis, uh, big misunderstandings that I've heard in other guides is that you cannot block skills. I've heard people say this, that um, you know, if you want to open somebody up, use your skills, that'll get them. Uh, you can't block skills or some stuff like that. You can totally block skills. Not only can you block people's skills, but oftentimes you can launch punish their skills. So let's say I'm doing like a little string like this and you're blocking every hit and I end the combo with uh, this launcher here. If you were to block this launcher, you would have enough time to do your own launcher and I couldn't do shit. I would be stuck in uh, what's called block stun where I'm still vulnerable. I'm still in the animation of my move. So you can hit me out of that and that is your reward for blocking my attack. So blocking is very powerful. Um, okay, so now that we're blocking, we need to know how to beat block. Because somebody could just get in our face and block all day, wait for us to do something punishable, and then, boop, you know, go in from there, right? Um, correct, you'd be correct, they could do that. So what we need to do to beat that is our martial arts attacks, is what the game calls them. But let's call them what they really are, and uh, they're unblockables, or guard breaks, which is on PC, it's your right click. I can't remember what it is on console, but you can just look at your settings and figure that out. And uh, they are marked by this like blue glow or aura that you see around the attack. All unblockables or key attacks have this effect, and you can use them to break people's guards. So. Let's say you're going in, you hit them with like two or three normals, and you realize, okay, they're just blocking. So then you switch it up to a key attack. Nice, and that's going to open up their guard and hit them. So if you... Now let's go into the, the strategies and the mind games of the key attack, because once that starts, that's where the real mind games begin. So if you ever do two key attacks in a row, you're going to stun them and put them into a free combo state. Two key attacks in a row is... It's OP. I mean, it's not really OP, but it's very, very strong. It's a free combo. So they're stunned, right? And then I just boop, I launch them up, do my thing, boom, go into a situation. Now they just got comboed, and now they're in a horrible, horrible Oki situation where I can just rain down my range. But I mean, that's character specific, that doesn't matter. But anyway. And that's all just because I opened them up with two block unblockables, because they were blocking too much. So what is the counter to this? Because obviously that sucks. Like, 
you can try. So you can try to dodge the second. So if you if they hit you with the first one, you can try to dodge the second one. But it seems inconsistent to me. Honestly, I need to do further testing. I'm not. It might be character specific. It it might be a matchup thing. Um, but it seems inconsistent to me right now whether or not you can dodge out of the second uh, unblockable. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you get whacked and then you die. So what I propose you do instead, sometimes, is when you see the first unblockable, you have a guard break counter. So you have a normal block, and then you have a parry, essentially. But the parry only works against guard breaks. So if they ever do one guard break, oftentimes, right now people are going to do two guard breaks most of the time. Once the mind games deepen and people get better, things will change. But right now, most people are going with two guard breaks in a row. Boom, boom, they get the stun, they get the launch, wa da So once they do one guard break, you can start mashing the guard break parry. And if you parry their guard break, they will get stunned instead of you, letting you get the combo instead. So the guard break parry is... It's your um, answer, essentially, to their guard breaks. So one of the ways you can use this to your advantage is block a lot right knowing that they're gonna try to guard break you so just get ready and bait them into using their guard break and parry it and then ruin their day after that with a combo that's a, a great way to start like messing with people's minds and use the game systems against them okay well what's next all right so so now you're probably thinking, like, man, if it's that easy to just parry the second hit of guard breaks, then people are just going to parry the second hit of guard breaks every single time. That makes that kind of useless, right? Wrong. This is where things get really scary. So if somebody hits one guard break on you, you're in a, you're in a bad spot, right? Because right now you're guessing in between, are they going to do two guard breaks? Which sucks. You're getting comboed if that happens. So you might want to parry. But if they think that you're going to parry... They can instead be like combo combo guard break launch and if you try to parry that launcher You know, it's not gonna work. You're fucked <laughs> That sucks <laughs> so uh, That's kind of where like the mind games go from there So it's, it's, a, it's a true 50 50 situation so once they hit this first guard break you're now flipping a coin on defense and if you guess right they're getting comboed if you guess wrong you're getting comboed there might be a third option there to dash out and avoid the mix-up entirely and return to neutral but like i said i haven't been able to like test that thoroughly and it seems like it might be inconsistent or character specific all right so uh bonus tip if you made it this far i wanted to tell you a couple of my thoughts about a little character people have been hyping up named Momo where is she at here she is I'll play her too just to show you so a lot of people are saying that she is the best character in the game um, you should definitely everybody should play Momo right play Momo if you want to win there's some truth to that um, she's very strong however here's my theory right let me uh, make sure that I got this in camera. So let's say here's the skill floor of the game. Uh, if you don't know shit about the game, uh, you play any character like uh, basically this is like uh, ground zero, like no skill at all. You don't know how to play a character, so you start playing um, any other character in the game, right? Let's say after you, you play the tutorial, you're like right here. You're like spamming auto attacks. You don't really know about blocking. You don't really know about guard breaking that much. Uh, you're just doing whatever. You're just going ham. And you pick up Momo, and you play like that. And you just spam attacks. You don't know about guard breaking. You just don't block. You just run away and spam your light attacks. You're automatically going to be playing at a level that will be able to hang with a very advanced player. Right? Or at least, like, somewhat advanced. So, in my... But the problem with Momo, uh, let me reiterate, is that while you start at a very advanced level... I feel like she has very little room to grow. Like, she's not going to get much better. You're not going to see a huge difference between a pro 
and a, like an average player just spamming auto attacks with Momo. She doesn't have a ton of skill expression, in my opinion. Like her skill floor is very high, but her skill ceiling is very low in comparison. In my mind, when I look at her kit and I see her damage and I see her health, that's my opinion. Okay. So, I do not recommend that you play Momo if you want to get good at the game. If you want to cheese out some wins, sure, they say I play Momo. They say spam some auto attacks, they get close to you, dash away, you know, drop your, your four or whatever. Alright, which one is it? What is her... Oh, I was pressing three, yeah. Does it need to hit? Yeah, that move, that move. Yeah, if they get close to you, you use this move. And you use spam attacks, do your dirt, you know, do your thing, blah, blah, blah. But uh, Momo has zero health. Like, literally, she has, like, no health. She's the lowest health character, I believe, in the game by a long shot. And she will die in literally one combo to some characters. Uh, in particular, this gorilla dude, uh, wherever he's at. He can totally like kill her in one combo, but he's also it's really hard to get in with him. So here's who I recommend as a character that you should play if you want to learn the game systems. And you, ah, it sucks. I'm recommending my main to you guys, but if you want to learn the game systems, and you want to fuck up Momo, and absolutely defecate on her, I recommend you play June. And let me explain why. So this character has a complete kit and he'll allow you to employ all of the mind games that I explained to you thus far to full effect and on top of that not only will he like allow you to do that but he will force them he'll force the opponent to play these mind games with you um, in particular with this ability right here the scorpion get over here chain so this move is really annoying for Momo because obviously she doesn't want to be close to you because when she is, she just dies, right? She's already halfway dead off one combo, and that wasn't even, like, my full optimal combo. So, on top of that, so here's here's the kicker, right? You have this chain that already fucks up Momo's day. You have good damage. His passive is he has two dodges. Boom, boom. Like, he can dodge twice in a row. And you see at the end of these dodges, he turns yellow. Let me see if I can demonstrate it again. So when he's yellow like that, if he gets hit by a ranged attack, which obviously that's all Momo does is ranged attacks. Let me see if I can demonstrate it. I, I can do it. Now that I'm recording, I'm going to fuck it up. Watch. But let's see if I can do it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I dodged through it, and I didn't press anything. There we go. So I'm in. Boom. So if you dodge through... I made that look harder than it is. It's not exactly easy, but if you practice it, I promise you can reliably uh, hit that on Momo. So if you dodge through one of her attacks, you can instantly teleport in on her and combo her for free. She can't do anything about it, as far as I'm aware. Like, uh, maybe she could block it, but I, I have not had a single person block it yet. I wish the training mode was a little better. That way I could, like, play Momo and then record a June doing that to me and see if, he, if I could block it. But unfortunately, I can't do that in training mode. But it, it definitely seems like um, they cannot block it. Even the computer on hard, which blocks a lot of stuff, even though it's not the smartest, it does block a lot. will never block it. So, yeah, that's my little bonus tip. If you want a character to recommend, I recommend June, as he will allow you to learn the game and all of his systems, and will simultaneously allow you to take fat dumps all over Momo. Okay, if you guys appreciated these tips and would like more guides like this, uh, please let me know. I would be happy to do them. Um, I might do one for the Battle Royale systems as well. I do enjoy the Battle Royale part of the game. It's just that, uh, you know, that's not what I spent the last five years of my life getting very good at. And I, I, 
that's a little misleading because these are not the type of games that I play. I play like Street Fighter, Tekken 7 primarily, and now Guilty Gear, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this type of content, please let me know. And have a nice day, everybody. I hope this helps.